here's our four-point interpolation project, which is implemented using the three-point algorithm that Professor Rosniak had supplied us with. What we're doing here is at every point of time t, we are using a linear interpolation algorithm uh, with a modified t value to smoothly blend between the first three-point curve that you see here in green and the second three-point curve that you see here in blue to get this red curve. Um, so for instance, what you are seeing at, let's call this 1.3, um, is that we are using the linear interpolation method that is part of the processing library um, to say, all right, take the point on the first curve and take the point on the second curve and linear interpolate between the two of them at 1.3 over this minus this, which is 3. So what our code actually looks like is that it just calculates where this point would be on the first curve, down here, and where the point would be on the second curve, interpolated, and it does the linear interpolation, which is called lerp, and it just lerps point P and point Q at value 1.3 over 3, because that's where this t is uh, over the entire curve. However, its relative value to each of these curves is slightly different, because for the first curve, it's 1.3 over 2, and for the second curve, it is 0 0.3 over 2. So for instance, over on this section of the graph, the t value respective to the first curve is the same as it is from 0 to 1. However, for the second curve, it would be negative. Over here, the t value would be between 2 and 3 for the first curve, and between 1 and 2 for the second curve. All right, here's our group's 4x4 four four curve animation. What we have here are four curves, each drawn using the four-point implementation of Neville's algorithm. Uh, as you can see here, each of these four points, uh, each of the four points on each line is represents a time t. So, for instance, at the very first frame, we're taking the point at t equals zero on each curve. We'll call them a, b, c, and d. So what we're doing is we're taking the point at t on curve a, then t at curve b, t on curve c, t on curve d, and we're taking those four points and using them to form a fifth curve that is the one you see being animated there. Uh, we just keep advancing t in a sinusoid manner, resetting it backwards every time it hits four, and we keep incrementing t and doing this all over again. Um, the advantage, and it's more obvious when you go into keyframe mode, of having four-point curves is that it allows each curve to have two changes in direction, here and here. Um, and being able to have multiple shifts in direction allows for some really uh, interesting visual effects like where you can kind of see the motion intersect itself and also when you turn off these control points you get kind of a pseudo 3D effects uh, from the way color ramping is 